The College News, your source for all things Murray State. Brought to you by the Murray State News. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the College News. I'm Taylor West. And I'm Nigel Walton. The Murray State rifle team will compete in the NCAA National Championships in Lexington on March 13th and 14th. This marks the race for six straight NCAA National Championship appearance and the team is looking to bring home its third title. The racers enter the tournament seat at six in a field of eight teams. The Murray State ROTC program returned to Wendell H. Ford Regional Training Facility last Saturday for a situational training exercise. Megan spent the day with the cadets and has more. Hello and welcome to Wendell H. Ford Regional Training Facility. Today we're out here with the ROTC cadets as they practice ambush, movement to contact, and other things that go into an STX. We're specifically focusing on OP4 today, so we're, you're going to learn a little bit more about that. Situational training exercises, or sticks, put cadets through a series of lanes designed to test their navigational and combat abilities. Oppositional forces helps aid in these lanes. Op 4 is just pretty much the enemy attacking these kids, giving them situations for advance camp. So it pretty much just prepares them for what they're about to go do this summer. Cadets acting as Op 4 have trained in lanes like these. This helps them to better work with cadets running through the lanes now. The importance of OP4 is that uh, they cannot complete the mission to standard without an OP4. So they can run through the motions, but they can't actually conduct the exercise or fix on a, um, they can't fix on a group of people or the enemy per se uh, without the enemy. So. Acting as OP4 gives cadets more relief and more downtime during a sticks. To many, it comes as a breath of fresh air. Thanks, Megan. The Murray State ROTC program holds multiple training events throughout the semester, each one designed to hone different skills necessary to commission. The women's basketball team played in the OVC tournament against UT Martin last Wednesday and lost 88-33. The men lost to Belmont in OVC championship in the last seconds Friday, 76-75. It was a great season for both teams, and we can't wait until basketball season comes around again. The baseball team won two out of three games this past weekend against Austin P. They will take on Eastern Illinois this weekend at Reagan Field. Fingers crossed for a three-game sweep. Soccer star Maya Waffer has joined Elite Company and Athletes Going Pro for Murray State. I got a chance to talk to her about how she is preparing for her experience. I'm Nigel Walton, and I'm here at the Murray State Soccer Field. Senior forward Maya Waffer has signed a contract to play pro soccer in Iceland. Maya's life has just took a turn for the better. She has been given the opportunity to take her talents to the next level. She found out about her opportunity February 19th through her roommate's agent. My roommate's agent reached out to my agent and said, hey, here's this offer. Um, I wanted to let you guys know. Um, I, hear, I copied the coach in the email as well. And then um, I discussed it with my mom, my dad, and my agent. And we basically were like, all right, well, we got to see if we can graduate. Maya led the races to three OVC championships and was the main striker during her tenure. She scored 31 team goals with 14 assists. She started her mark making the all-newcomer team in 2017. She was named to the all-OVC team in 2018 and 2019. Conference tournament MVP twice in 2017 and 2019. Was named the 2019 OVC Offensive Player of the Year. She has the Murray State single season scoring record with 15 goals and broke the Murray State single season record in points collected with 35. Even though Iceland is hours ahead of Central Time, Maya says she will still find a way to contact her family and friends. What I have to do is I'm going to take my current phone that I have and I have to keep it on airplane mode or it will charge my parents' account. <laughs> and I'm going to buy um, like a basically a burner phone, you'd call it, and put like um, a, their SIM card in there. Um, so I'm going to download like the WhatsApp app. So. Um, and tell all my friends to download if they want to talk to me, or I'll just call them on FaceTime when I'm in my apartment. Maya plans on working in the marketing field with the sports athletics department and get into internships and learn how to promote and advertise for games. She is said to graduate in May and has contacted her teachers, and they are all in with helping to make sure she finishes the semester. I worked out a way with my teachers to figure out um, when I'm going, like how we're going to make it work. Um, well, they were very helpful and they made it a lot easier on my decision because at the end of the day I wanted to graduate and I'm so close, like it'd be really sad to just up and leave and I had like a half of a semester left. But they worked it out to where I could graduate so 
I was pretty happy about that. The Murray State News will keep you updated on what's going on with my Wofford and how things are going in Iceland. She is set to lead today. Stay tuned. Over the past several weeks, many Murray State University employees and students have received email scams about job offers. If you question the validity of an email you have received, please forward the email to abuse at murraystate.edu. As we draw closer to spring break, Edie Greenberg headed out to see what people in the area are planning for next week. Hi, I'm Edie Greenberg. I'm here today to ask people what their plans are for spring break. <laughs> oh no, I can't keep up. Hey, hi. Hello. What are your plans for spring break? Working. Everyone else at my work's leaving, so I'm going to have to fill in. Oh no, that's no fun. <laughs> it happens. I mean, I'd rather somebody else have fun than me. I mean, I'm always one that's going to, I'd rather me take the blunt of it than they do. Oh, well, that's really nice. Have a good spring break. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's windy out here today. Hi. What are your plans for spring break? I'm going home. Oh, fun. I'm going to Fort Lauderdale. What are you going to do there? Mm, <laughs> go to the beach. <laughs> I hope you get very tan. Thank you. I've been tanning, actually, so I'm a little tan. Oh. You're prepared. Yes, yeah, so much. Have a good spring break. Thank you, you too. Yeah. Bye. What are your plans for spring break? Um, I'm going to go home for a little bit, and then I'm just going to come back here. Cool. Who can we attack next? High schooler. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hello! Hello, hello. What are your plans for spring break? What? What are your plans for spring break? Um, sit at home. What are you going to do when you're sitting at home? Watch TV. I don't know. Work. <laughs> That sounds fun. What's your plans for spring break? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go home and sleep. <laughs> good idea. Good idea. All right. Have good days. Good spring breaks. You too, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I have a question for you. Ah, don't run me over. <laughs> what are you doing for spring break? Um, nothing, probably. <laughs> what does nothing consist of? Um, sleeping and yeah. Do you have any more exciting plans for spring break? I don't know. What is this for? Don't worry about it. What? <laughs> I don't really have anything planned. Okay, well, I hope you do not wreck your bike and that you have a nice day. I will not wreck my bike. I'm actually going right here. Okay. Bye, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. What are your plans for spring break? Working. Oh no, that's not fun. <laughs> I like your outfit. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. You as well, and you as well. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, doggy. Hello. What are your plans for spring break? Those are exciting plans. I hope you catch lots of squirrels. Bye bye. <laughs> this guy looks dapper. Hello, what are your plans for spring break? Work. Working, that's no fun. A little bit of football, maybe. Cool. Where do you work? McDonald's. Cool. I'm loving it. <laughs> Well, let's ask this guy. Whoop! What are you doing for spring break? Got the whole stoic act down, huh? Mysterious. Well, I hope you have a fun spring break. Thank you all for watching. This has been Edie on the Street. Let's go to Keaton to take a look at the weather as we head into this pre-spring break weekend. Thanks, Taylor. As we finish this week here in Murray and head into spring break, you can expect highs near 70 on Wednesday and Thursday with mostly rain. It's going to cool down as you head into the weekend with uh, highs around 50 on Saturday and Sunday. And if you're still around in Murray for spring break, expect rain throughout the week with highs near 70. Now, if you're going to go to Port Lauderdale for spring break, you can expect mostly sunny skies throughout the week with highs around the low to mid 80s. Back to you. The college news shows its viewers only the most professional side of things. That doesn't mean we don't have our fair share of hilarity and mess ups. 
To start spring break on a good note, we here at the College News thought you all might like to see those mess ups. Roll the bloopers. Oh, do I have to burp? Oh gosh, I don't know. Hey, Megan. Yes. It's. Is that what you're saying? It's sticking up. <laughs> well, can somebody like? Better. Well, how was it not wrong five seconds ago? Now it is. The emergency procedures located on the Murray State University Police website to review potential curses on the courses. Curses. That's a good one for Live Real. Potential curses. At least 22 people were killed and dozens more were injured. That's a good Hopefully those bloopers help put some pep in yourself these last few days before spring break. Here's a look at some of the stories you'll see in this week's paper. This week in the news section, we sat down with President Jackson and Chief Medical Officer Dr. Hughes to talk about how the coronavirus is impacting campus and what it will mean for class post spring break. This week in the sports section, hear more from my interview with Maya Watford, who left for Iceland today. This week for the feature section, check out what a student has to say about self-publishing her poetry collection. The College News will not be putting out a broadcast next week, but be sure to pick up a copy of the Murray State News tomorrow before you leave. We hope you all have fun and safe spring breaks. Be sure to join us every Wednesday on the news.org and our social media channels throughout the semester for all your campus and community news. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you here after spring break.